The European Union's seventh framework program of 54 billion euros for research and development is designed as a key contribution to the strategy for growth and jobs. The EPPD Group has played a significant role in shaping Europe's technological future. Since 1984, the research and innovation activities of the European Union are grouped under one programme called the Framework Programme. Europe has made a clear choice to bet on research and development for securing its future. The adoption of the seventh Framework Programme by the European Parliament was the result of 19 months hard work by MEP Jerzy Buzek. The overwhelming majority of MEPs in the Parliament adopted his report, placing Europe firmly on the path towards a competitive, knowledge-based economy. They are giving to our economy a way of uh, uh, innovation and a uh, way of um, uh, more efficient uh, behaviour on the global market. And only on this way, the, the way of innovation, we can be really competitive and we can win all over the world. Cooperation, ideas, People and capacities are the four pillars of the seventh framework programme, which also involves the active participation of universities, says Yves Meni, president of the European University Institute. Well, it means that for many uh, European academics, it's the main or sometimes the exclusive uh, source of uh, funding for important research uh, projects. Uh, there are several reasons. First, because uh, at the national level, uh, sometimes the money is not enough, and also some countries are uh, too poor to uh, dedicate uh, much money to research. So uh, this is a crucial contribution to the development of, uh, of the uh, European-wide uh, research. The EPPED group succeeded in adding several important issues to the European research agenda. In defining the structure of the European Research Council, which will support investigator-driven frontier research, it pushed through a mid-term review and subsequent co-decision procedure. It also ensured a limit of 5% for administrative expenses and clear and transparent selection criteria for the selection of scientific council members. Under the cooperation pillar, the EPPED group stressed the importance of issues such as energy, health and cultural heritage. SMEs and cooperation between industry and academia were considered as a special priority by the EPPED group and were approached horizontally in all parts of the programme. In seventh framework programme we are pointing out that the most important uh, in the European Union is a cooperation between industry and academia, between small and medium enterprises and researchers and we uh, um, introduced quite a new solutions like joint technological initiatives, like um, a special infrastructure for research, like um, um, uh, regions of knowledge which were not present uh, in the uh, uh, former uh, framework programs. And also we developed fundamental research which could be very useful from point of view of practical research, applied research, and we have developed um, a European Research Council which is taking care about fundamental research. Bureaucratization of the implementation process seems to be one of the remaining obstacles of the seventh framework programme success story. And, according to Mr Minny, Europe has to become more attractive not only for its best brains, but also for young researchers from all over the world. I think they should focus on uh, young people because, I mean, young people are the future of, uh, of, of Europe. They should try to attract as many scientists from abroad as possible. Research has no nationality. So, uh, and uh, unfortunately, uh, too many of our researchers have to move to the US because they get the more attractive offers. Uh, most of the uh, labs in America are filled with European or Asians. So it would be a good thing, first of all, if we could uh, give more incentives to the European to stay in Europe. It would be a good thing if we could attract more Asians. It would be a good thing if we could attract Americans because the competition is there. So uh, uh, this would be f uh, fundamental. And the third thing that the European Parliament uh, could do is to give uh, an important contribution to the simplification of the bureaucratic process. 
The APPD Group has played a crucial role in the Seventh Framework Programme negotiations with the Commission and the Council. It has achieved a majority for Parliament's significant success, mainly by adopting several key amendments to the Commission's text. Now, it's up to the universities, research institutes and companies all over Europe to take full advantage of the opportunities this framework programme offers them.